Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Complete Solar Photovoltaics for Residential, Commercial, and Utility Systems. I'm here today to look into module mismatch and the differences between the voltages of solar modules and the currents. So, to start off, we're going to read our voltages on the three solar modules in the background. And those three solar modules are actually two cells each, and each cell gives out half a volt, so each module should be just over one volt in bright sunlight, which is what we have right now. So let's see what we get. So our first module is putting out 1.179 volts. Second module is putting out 0.616 volts. So that indicates we have a bad cell in the middle module. And our third module is putting out 1.172 volts. So the two are amperages coming out of these solar modules. And we have an ammeter. This ammeter can actually read up to 10 amps. And these modules give out about 6 amps in bright sunlight. So let's see what's going on. So this module is outputting 6.29 amps. So the second module is outputting 5.26 amps, and our third module is outputting 6.47 amps. So we saw that the middle module has a failed cell, and this is a good demonstration of module mismatch. So the first two modules have a common ground that are connected together on the negative output. And we're going to use the meter to see what's going on between the positive output of these modules. So let's connect on and see what happens. So we can see that we've got 3.88 amps flowing in between the modules. Now this is an important concept to grasp in solar photovoltaics because this is why we have string fuses. So when you have multiple parallel connected solar modules in a system, you have on a grid connected system, and you have voltage imbalances in the system, as we have here, as we have a failed solar cell, you'll find that your good strings start feeding current into your bad strings. And you need a fuse called a string fuse in the circuit to enable the bad strings to be protected from damage by the good strings feeding in current into those poor performing strings. And if you're finding blown string fuses on a system, you should start checking out your string voltages and you may actually find that you have some failed solar cells in each string, which are making that particular string consume current from the system and ultimately blow its string fuse. So this is something to look for on a system that is blowing string fuses. And when you're designing a system, it's also something to be aware of that when you put your individual strings of solar modules together, that you should be trying to keep the voltage output from each string as consistent as possible to prevent this effect from occurring. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.